Yo, what's up, what's up, it's Does It. I'm back for another video, but this video is a little different. I'm just gonna sit and talk with me. And the topic today is just black America and this crazy thing that's going on with all these cops, you know, from black America to black America. So I just want to start off with a quick story, you know. I moved out to OC when I was like three years old from Richmond, Virginia with the fam and I just grew up here all the time and I didn't have a lot of problems with the cops you know because I was always in marching band I was always just kind of geeky you know I was always doing my own thing whenever I ran to the cops I was just a little submissive and just go about my day but from a black man's perspective it's just it's just sketchy because me, even though me personally out here in the OC, I haven't come across a, a corrupt cop. No one's really tried to beat me up or choke me out and stuff. It's still happening on this planet. Not too far in LA, a guy got choked to death. And now they're rioting. They're literally rioting, throwing, breaking into targets. You know, looting stores. And I don't know how to feel about it really. How should I feel? Should I be excited? Or should I be, or should I be pissed? The thing that I'm pissed about is all this craziness, all this craziness, and what the fuck the cops are gonna do? We're gonna see another video of a cop abusing the shit out of a nigga, and it's gonna be another riot, and I, I don't see an end to it, really. Um... And I don't even know why I'm really telling you guys this, but this is just another black perspective to another black perspective. Um, black America to black America. I'm living my life right here. I'm living my life. I'm still alive. You know, and I count my blessings every single day. Got a lot of different things to count my blessings for. But it's just crazy out. Sometimes I'm afraid to go out. Yesterday I went driving down the street. I seen the same cop three times shit was pretty sketchy but I haven't been harassed now I can't I carry two cameras I'm a blogger now right I vlog a lot so I carry two cameras and my little camera this little GoPro is the one that's always recording so if I ever get into any problems with the cops or anything like that I should be able to get it on footage but I'm a pretty chill dude you know there shouldn't be any reason for any cop to try to choke me out or anything like that. But I don't know. I just wanted to come on here and give y'all a perspective of another African-American male that is out here with all this dilemma and all this. There's a lot of energy around the black male right now. And I just want to, I don't want to offend anybody or anything like that, but we do need to come together and uh, do better, you know? We don't have to really be pillaging and doing crazy things, but I don't I don't, I don't, don't blame you, though, because if I could run into the freaking liquor store and steal everything, I'd be doing that shit right now, too. What the fuck? But there's just better ways of doing things. I wish, I hope everybody is safe out there. Um, anybody a victim to police brutality, you know? Fuck, fuck pigs, you know what I mean? Like, you know? Anybody a victim to police brutality, I know that shit's whack as fuck, sick as fuck, and I'm here for you, I'm here with you, the whole world is here with you, but it's just sick that it had to come down to a whole death, a whole choke out, a whole knee in someone's neck until they died, for all these people to really realize what's going on. So just another Black America perspective, Black America to Black America. Comment down below how y'all feel about this whole epidemic. I I think they chose the best time during quarantine. Everybody don't got work, so everybody's just looking for something crazy to do. So I think it's another way to manipulate the masses. Um, but who knows? But uh, but my perspective personally, my personal perspective, is just getting pretty pretty crazy. And uh, everybody just stay safe out there. You don't want to lose your life. Or lose your abilities to do things. Over. Over uh, crazy. 
crazy police. Police are fucking crazy, you know? Um, yeah. But that's all I wanted to talk about. Just another black perspective uh, of, of life in the, in the United States. Uh, it's pretty. It's getting crazy out here. It's getting crazy. I ain't never afraid to leave my house. I'm a skater, you know. I skate every day, like pretty much. I hoop every day. I'm an active individual, and I try to stay out of trouble. So, if I ever get into trouble, you I'll most likely film it because that's the kind of guy I am on my vlogs. But besides that, like, comment, subscribe. I'm on my way to 10k. Um, if y'all want to talk about any of this crazy epidemic and anything going on that's crazy on your mind about all these cops and killing and all this crazy shit and what do you got on your mind um just comment down below on my way to 10k um follow me i'm always just chilling uh yeah but i just wanted to i wanted to drop this video for for black america and uh to let y'all know that we still strong it's just cops are sketchy as fuck <laughs> and uh they want to see you weak you know but a lot of a lot of a lot of niggas know the hardest shit you go through it's just gonna make you stronger a lot of niggas know that shit and a lot of niggas is born with that in their veins born with that in their soul so it's just gonna be crazy man these cops are being stupid but like comment subscribe on my way to 10k follow me um you know how we do i just be chilling for a villain but I wanted to get this video out there just to kind of say, see, let y'all see how niggas is doing out here. Niggas, I'm, I'm chilling right now, kind of just chilling, but it's still crazy. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. See y'all later.